Omori is a completely normal RPG created by the creator Omocat. This adorable and innocent RPG first released on PC and Mac in December of 2020 and later released on consoles in June of 2022. The creator, Omocat, actually wrote, directed, and illustrated the game. Very impressive. Now, based on what you may have seen and what I have just told you, you may simply think that Omori is your typical happy-go-lucky RPG with a straightforward story. Well, boy, howdy, you can be further from the truth. I pulled a sneaky on ya. <laughs> In reality, Omori is a psychological horror game with a dark and heartbreaking story. Sure, it has some adorable visuals, but similar to Doki Doki Literature Club, the cutesy visuals are simply to lull the player into a false sense of security, which in turn helps the horror elements hit even harder. Imagine you're just playing a game that looks like this? And then this shows up. You're not sleeping tonight. Fun fact, Omori actually started out as a simple webcomic. The creator, Omocat, drew these comics to help themselves cope with problems in their life. Another fun fact, the story of Omori was originally going to be told in graphic novel format, but Omocat decided to tell the story in video game format instead, just because games allow the player to make choices while graphic novels do not. Anyways, the Omori webcomics starred Omori and are drawn simply in black and white. The style of the webcomics is fairly similar to the style used for the game, but there are a few differences to note. The main difference between the two being the overall proportions of the characters. In the webcomic style, the arms and legs are long and skinny, and the hands and feet are very small and simple. The webcomic style also is far more angular and sharp, whereas the game style is much softer and more round. Another difference to note is the inking style. In the webcomic, the line work is very clean, while in the game, the line work is a bit more sketchy. But I think the messiness adds a bit more charm to the game's style. It kind of makes the art feel like it's a child's doodle, which honestly fits in really well with the themes of Omori. Now, something that didn't really change between the two styles is the color. Omori uses color extremely well. There are a few color schemes that you may or may not see throughout the game. The first set of colors you'll see are black and white, with white being the main color. These colors create an empty, lonely feeling, which is perfect for a place called white space. The next set of colors you'll see are calm and whimsical pinks and purples, which are perfect for tricking you into thinking this game is gonna be cute and happy. During certain events in the game, the colors will be extremely dark and ominous. What I'm trying to say is that Omori masterfully uses colors to convey different moods and feelings, creating an extremely immersive experience. When you play Omori, you'll mostly see cute little pixelated sprites of you and your party. But when you enter a battle, things get a lot more interesting. In battle, you and all your party members have hand-drawn sprites that indicate how they're feeling. Each character starts at neutral, but as the battle progresses, the emotions change, and each character has a unique sprite for each emotion. Also, all the enemies you run into have unique battle sprites. Oh, and there are well over 50 monsters. And did I mention that all the battle sprites are somewhat animated? Yep, all the character battle sprites and enemy sprites are all animated in a way where it's not really moving, but it kind of looks like it is. Yeah, that was kind of a weird sentence, but I, I don't know how else to word that. Also, the major cutscenes are animated. Like, animated, animated. And they all look absolutely beautiful. Overall, Omori has a beautiful and unique art style that works perfectly with the game's theme and story, and that's why I just had to try it out for myself. Drawing in Omori's art style was a fun little experience, and I actually got to draw two pieces for this style. The first of these was a battle sprite like the ones you see of your party members. I made it look kind of animated like the ones in the game as well. Doing this is actually really simple. All I had to do was draw the same picture three times. The second and the third time, each using the first picture as a sketch, if that makes any sense. The second piece I did was drawn in the style of the art you see in cutscenes and in promotional art. 
I had to really make sure that the anatomy and proportions were correct because otherwise the whole thing would have fell off. I opted to use some color here as well because while there isn't a ton of color used in this style, characters like Basil do use color in their art, so I chose to as well considering that my mascot Z has bright blue hair. This style was a bit harder to do simply because of the aforementioned anatomy, but overall I think it turned out quite nice. And with that out of the way, here are the two pieces I did for this little challenge. Hey, thank you so much for watching! If you made it this far, maybe give this video a like and let me know what you think of this format. It's it's a bit different than my previous videos, but that's alright since I'm really still trying to figure out a kind of a main style for my videos. Anyways, have an awesome day!